What are micro, organisms? Organisms that are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope are called microorganisms or microbes. Example, a bread gets grayish white patches during rainy season. What is micro, biology? The study of microorganisms is called microbiology. Where do microorganisms live? Microorganisms can be found in almost any kind of environment, hot desert, polar region, salt water, marshlands, and inside other organisms. Microorganisms can survive volcanoes, deep sea and even vacuum. Classification of microorganisms. There are five major groups of microorganism. These are as follows. Bacteria. Algae. Protozoa. Fungi. Viruses. Bacteria. They are simple living organisms and are mostly single cell tiny organisms, but they live together in colonies of millions. Bacteria are found in four different shapes. Rod shaped, called bacilli. Round or spherical shaped, called cocci. Spiral called spirilla. Comma shaped called, vibrio. Algae. Algae are simple plant-like organisms which are usually aquatic in nature. They contain a cell wall and chlorophyll and can make their own food by photosynthesis. Algae can be unicellular or multicellular. Some of the common examples are diatoms and seaweed. Protozoa. These are unicellular microscopic organisms similar to animals that can move about to capture food and are heterotrophic in nature. They are mostly aquatic in nature. Amoeba, paramecium are some examples of protozoa. Fungi. Plant-like organisms that do not contain chlorophyll are called fungi. Fungi may be unicellular or multicellular and are found in warm and moist places. Fungi can be heterotrophic, saprophytic, or parasitic in nutrition. Examples, yeast, rhizopus, mushrooms, puffballs. Viruses. Viruses are smaller than any known cell. Viruses can only be seen with electron microscope. Viruses can reproduce only inside the bodies of other organisms, which mean they need a host. Useful microorganisms. Microorganisms are useful in food and beverage industry, in making medicines and vaccines, in agriculture, and in cleaning the environment. Food and beverage industry. Bacteria help us in making certain foods. Lactobacillus is a bacterium that sours milk and is used to make curd from milk. Many fungi like mushrooms and morels are edible which are rich. Yeast is commonly employed in preparing food items like bread, cakes, idli, dosa, dakla etc. Yeast is also used in breweries for making wines by the process of fermentation. Making medicines and vaccines. Bacteria and fungi are used to make medicines called antibiotics. The first antibiotic, penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. Some common antibiotics are streptomycin and tobramycin. Microbes are used to make vaccines. Bacteria and yeast are used in making vitamin B complex tablets. The human hormonal called insulin can also be obtained from bacteria. In cleaning the environment. Microbes help to keep our environment clean by decomposing dead matter. They decomposed substances are recycled as these get reused from the soil by plants. Some bacteria decompose sewage and other waste in water. In agriculture. Some bacteria like rhizobium, blue-green algae like nostoc, live in the root nodules of plants such as gram, pea etc. These bacteria absorb the nitrogen of the atmosphere and convert it into nitrate which serves as natural fertilizers for plants, hence, enhancing soil fertility. Nitrogen Fixation 78% of atmosphere is composed of nitrogen. But green plants cannot utilize gaseous nitrogen. Gaseous nitrogen needs to be converted into compounds of nitrogen so that plants can utilize nitrogen. The process of converting nitrogen into compounds which can be taken up by green plants is called nitrogen fixation. Following are the main steps of nitrogen fixation. A. Blue-green algae and some bacteria, like rhizobium, convert gaseous nitrogen into compounds of nitrogen.
such nitrogenous compounds get deposited in soil. b. During lighting, some of the nitrogen in atmosphere gets converted into compounds of nitrogen. Such nitrogenous compounds reach the soil along with rainwater. c. Green plants absorb nitrogenous compounds from soil. Plants make protein and various other important molecules from nitrogen. Nitrogen reaches the body of other organisms through food chain. D. A major portion of nitrogen from animals and plants is removed during excretion. Remaining portion of nitrogen is sent back to the environment when dead animals and plants get decomposed. Nitrogen cycle. The cycle of events by which nitrogen is channelized into the living world and back to atmosphere is called nitrogen cycle. Harmful microorganisms. Microorganisms that cause diseases in human, animals and plants are called pathogens or germs. Diseases that can spread from an infected person to a healthy individual through air, water, or direct contact are called communicable diseases. Examples, common cold, chicken pox, AIDS etc. Microorganisms also cause diseases in animals and plants. For examples, Anthrax is a disease caused by bacterium and affects human and cattle. A virus causes the dangerous foot and mouth disease in cattle. Citrus canker is a bacterial disease that affects trees of citrus fruits and is spread by air. Rust of wheat is a viral disease that affects vegetable like bindi and spread by insects. Malaria is actually caused by pathogen called Plasmodium, protozoa, which is transmitted by female Anopheles mosquito. Dengue is caused by dengue virus and spread by female Aedes mosquito. Preventing the spread of communicable diseases. Oh some simple methods of limiting the spread of communicable diseases are. To keep the infected person separated from others and to advise his slash her to keep a handkerchief on the nose and mouth while sneezing. Oh to keep our environment or surrounding clean. Oh never let garbage collect in the neighborhood. Oh timely vaccination against diseases should also be taken. Oh to prevent mosquitoes from breeding we should not allow water to collect anywhere in our neighborhoods. Food spoilage. Oh many bacteria and fungi grow on food items and produce certain toxic substances. This makes the food unfit for consumption. Consuming such food can cause a serious illness called food poisoning. Food poisoning could be due to the consumption of food spoiled by some microorganisms. Microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances. These make the food poisonous causing serious illness and even death. So, it is very important that we preserve food to prevent it from being spoiled. Food Preservation Processing of food to prevent their spoilage and to retain their nutritive value for period is called food preservation. Food can be preserved using many methods. Heating, heating food to a high temperature kills microbes. For example, milk and water are boiled to kill microbes. Cooling, food can be kept in refrigerator at about 5, C which delays its spoilage. Canning, canning is done to package or preserve food or drink by putting it in sealed, airtight containers. Salting. Fruit and vegetables can be preserved by using salt and then drying. Salts prevent the growth of microbes. Sweetening, excess sugar can also works on the same principle as salting. Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by this method. Dry or dehydration, dehydration of food remaining water from it. This stops microorganisms from growing as they cannot grow without water. Chemical preservatives. Chemicals like sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite prevent microbial attack and are often used to preserve jams, sauces and ketchup, 